Anderson. They were one sly piece of the pod on a peatlet. The piece were green. The pod was green. And so that they believed that the whole world was green. The pod grew. The peas grew with it. Sitting in a row. Outside, the sun shone and warmed the pod. The rain watered it. And the peas grew bigger and sat there and said, Are we going to be here for Ever asked one. There must be something outside. In fact, I'm sure of it. A few days later, they felt a sharp pull at the pot. It had been torn off the peatland. Crack! It was opened when a five piece rolled out into bright sunshine. There they lay in the little boy's palm. You are five peas! Perfect for my pig shooter, he said. He picked one of the peas from his head and put it into his toy. No, I am flying to the wide world, he called the pea to his friends. Get me if you can. And the boy blew hard into the pea shooter. The pea was up, away, and gone. The boy picked the second pea. I'm the biggest and best, and it's going to fly all the way to the sun. And away, the pea cold as he slid down to the pea shooter, and away he went. The boy went to pick two peas at the same time, and dropped them in as they rolled about on the ground. Wherever we come to rest, we will go to play, they decided. The little boy found him, worked them into the pea shooter, and away they went together. Left behind, the fifth pea was all alone. Whatever is meant to happen will happen, he sighed as he was flying after the boy's pea shooter. He flew up and away until he hit a wall just under an attic window. He landed in the gap between the pricks, which was filled with moss. The moss closed over him, and there he lay. Whatever's meant to happen will happen, he said to himself. Inside the attic was a tiny flat, where the poor woman lived with his daughter, who was not quite grown up. The woman scraped a living. By cleaning stove, chopping wood, and other hard, unpleasant tasks. The girl could not help because she was very ill. She had been too sick to get out of bed for a whole year. Her mother was anxious that she might die. So every day, the sick girl stayed where she was patiently waiting for her mother to come home from work. Spring came, and early one morning, the sun shone brightly through the apple window. The sick girl gazed out, joined the warm rays on her face, and noticed something. Mother, she explained, what can that little green thing that be that's peeping at the window, moving in the wind? Her mother stepped towards the window and half opened it. Oh, she said, very surprised. There is actually some peas which is taking fruit and putting out green leaves. How oh, could have got into the scrap? Well, now, here's your own little garden for you to look at. And I drew the sick girl's bed closer to the window so she could see the building plant. Then she went out to her work. When the woman returned in the evening, her daughter said, Mother, the sun is shone in here so warmly today, and the little piece growing so well, I feel like I will get better too, and be able to go out into the sunshine again. Please, God, whispered the woman, even though she didn't dare believe it. She used to stick to prop up the green plant which had given her child such hope it would not be broken by the wind. Then she carefully tied a piece of string to the window frame so the pea tendrils could climb up if the plant shot up. 
and so it did shoot up. The sick girl watched the plant growing bigger day by day. Midday she lay by the window, warned by the sun, spoke more cheerfully. Even began to manage to set herself up for an hour or so to a mindful little garden of a simple pea plant that had grown on the wood. One morning her mother ran, There's a flower coming! The girl out of had the strength to stand up, lay out at the window, and a little way kissed the pea, pea blossom that was open. She felt so happy. Up like her birthday. Last woman believed that her sick daughter would come. Do you know, she said, as he hugged her daughter, how did God himself planted that pea plant for us? And what became of the other people? Well, the one who yelled, catch me if you can! Fell straight into the gutter, was washed away by rain water. Two ladies landed in the street. We were eating up a good. The one who wanted to reach the sun fell into a muddy puddle. He lay in the water, dirty water for weeks, blowing up and became fatter and fatter. No one was looking at the biggest thrust, he said to myself, just before he burst. And high above, the young girl stood at the open attic window. Sparkling eyes and rosy cheeks, thanking God for beautiful pea blossoms. It was very nice, Toddy, indeed.